Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can view your altitude and altimeter information on your Cento 9 barometer watch. Now I'm not going to get into all the different settings you can do with your altimeter, like setting reference altitude and how to adjust it, all that stuff. I'll do some videos in the future that walk you through that. This is really more for the person who's thinking about buying this watch. They want to get an idea of what does it look like on the watch so they can compare it to other watches. I'll say this, if you're into altitude, the Cento 9 does a really good job. The other things like your barometer, your temperature, I don't feel like they do as good of a job as they did on the altitude. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. The most basic way you can see your altitude value is set it as a data element on your watch face. I'm going to go ahead and just press a button over here to activate this watch face. You'll notice if I click it, I'm toggling my view. I can choose training, I can choose altitude, steps, battery percentage. On pretty much every watch face, you can show your altitude value. Where I was saying that they do better about altitude than barometer is there's only a couple watch faces that will show your barometric pressure. There are no watch faces that will show your temperature. But if you're interested in seeing altitude, you can pretty much pick any watch face that's delivered on this watch and set the altitude as a value that you can always see. That's your most basic way to see your altitude value. The other way is you could go down to your altimeter. Now, this is a touchscreen watch, so if you wanted to use touchscreen, you could use touchscreen. I'm more of a button person, so I'm going to be using the buttons. This is your up button. This is your down button. This is your select button. If we press the down button from our watch face, it takes us to our different views. We have our heart rate view. Press it again, we have our stress view. Press it again, we have our step view. Training. Eventually, you're going to get to a view that looks like this. It's kind of like what we saw on the watch face, but this one shows us our altitude value as well as our barometer value down here in the bottom. It's kind of hard to read. Altitude is easy to see. Barometer is a little bit harder. You'll notice that there's three dots down here. There's also a toggle. If I wanted to look at temperature, I could toggle and look at my temperature. But in terms of altitude, I've got that view. I could also move to another screen, and I've got my altitude trend. It's going to show me a trend over the last two hours of what my altitude has been doing. In my case, I haven't gone anywhere, I haven't really moved, so my altitude really has not changed at all. The last view in here is going to be your barometer view. While you're in these pages, if you press and hold the middle button on the right hand side, it will take you to some shortcuts for you to be able to do altitude adjustments. Set your reference altitude. Uh, set how you want the altitude to adjust. Do you want it just to use the altimeter? Do you want to switch between altimeter and barometer? Stuff like that. But really, that's about it. That's the basics of seeing your altitude and your altimeter on this watch. Once you're done, you would just simply swipe back down to your main watch face, and that's it. I'll say this. It's nice. There's, uh, you know, you've got an altimeter. You can see your value. There's other watches like the Garmin Instinct that I've had before, where you can actually see more of a plot area and there's other watch faces that show your plot area. I will show you there are some other watch faces besides this one. Let me switch over. We'll pick a different one. I pick kind of a boring one as far as altitude. This one's probably the best one if you're really into altitude. And I can adjust my color. This one looks pretty cool. But here you can basically see your altitude in the middle, or I can choose to show sunrise and sunset, or I can see my altitude as well as my barometric pressure. So there's other watch faces out there that show uh, altitude values differently than the first one that I showed in this video. Anyway, I hope it gives you an idea of how to view the altitude value on your Cento 9 barometer watch. As always, thanks for watching.